Well, moving is difficult, but try doing that all by yourself halfway across the globe. Yana Katanga of the Santa Clara Broncos did just that, moving from his native country of Cameroon to pursue a dream of basketball in the United States. He's also helping his teammates on and off the court. Here's Amanda Blackwell with the story. Yannick Atanga never thought much about life outside of his home country of Cameroon. That is until the game of basketball took hold of him and he decided to move by himself to the United States just before he started high school. I was like, I need to come to the U.S. to be able to like get that basketball background. And when I had the opportunity to come over here, I just jumped into it. Even though it was hard to leave my whole family behind and everybody, my goal was like, okay, I'm gonna get there and figure out what's, what's next. Next was high school basketball in Southern California before heading to play at Santa Clara University. Not just a big adjustment for Atanga's personal life, but for his basketball game as well. You know, what we do in Cameroon, we just play and we just play hard. And then when you get over here, they expect you to still play hard, but now you have to be more cautious. It was definitely different. But he adapted and soon was thriving with the Broncos. He definitely brings an element to us that's necessary for every team. You know, a passion for playing hard and obviously has shown his propensity for rebounding. He knows exactly uh, what the team needs and that's, that's someone stepping up on the defensive end and that's Yannick. Yannick obviously brings a lot of skills on the basketball court, but he also brings another set of skills to his team off of the court. He's a part of St. Long. He said he speaks five languages. I speak Maka and Yebekolo. Those are from my dad's side, and then I speak a wonder from my mom. When I got here, all I knew how to say in English was, hi, my name is Yanni. But about four months after I was here, I was pretty fine. Like, I didn't know that. You don't notice when it happened. But it was after, you know, when I, like, I, uh, I think I got my score for the SAT. I was like, wow. You got to have the microphone uh, towards him when he takes a charge and, and the translator because I don't know what he's saying, but he's screaming something, and I know it's not English. Too many languages all over your head, so you just, you just whatever, whatever language is right there, you just throw it out and you don't even notice. Occasional language barrier aside, Atanga has created a strong bond with his teammates. They have become a second family while he is thousands of miles away from home. He helped me like get through my first year because I'm all the way from Indiana, and Yannick knows how it, how it feels to be away from home. So he, he basically just took me under his wing. It's always hard to be far away from your family. Sometimes it gets harder, you know, and that's when you really you need to rely on your team and your, you know, people surrounding you to be able to get through that. Though he's now in the midst of a strong collegiate career, Atanga takes nothing for granted. And he never forgets the reason he picked up everything to move half a world away. It's good, like, just to be able to wake up in the morning and realize that not only I get, you know, like I have a chance to do something that I love, but I get to do it in a place like this. There's no way when I was 12 years old, you will tell me that I was gonna go to a school like this. No way, you know what I'm saying? And here I am, basketball, maybe 10 years down the road, but education is like for, forever, you know, and that's something that nobody can ever take away from, from me. With the education and experience Atanga has gained, he has opened the door to endless possibilities, not only for himself, but for others who might follow in his footsteps. That's really what I'm hoping most for Yannick is that his time over here will help him bring back even more to his family and to his village back home. So I kind of have those moments so when I go back now where you have kids like looking up to you, trying to get excited to see you, you know what I'm saying, just trying to be to stay humble and make them understand that, you know, People did it before you, you did it, they have a chance, they can do it too. For the WCC This Week, I'm Amanda Blackwell.